If you're looking for bold architectural plants for your gardens that are as easy as anything to grow, it's hard to go past the agaves. They come from the southern United States and Mexico, so they're really only satisfactory for climates where the frosts are only light or don't occur at all. Perhaps the best known of all of them is this one, Agave attenuata, a great favourite of Don's, wonderful in the ground and also in pots. As being a succulent, it doesn't matter much if it dries out from time to time. If you're looking for something slightly larger, there's always Agave angustifolia. This is a variety called Marginata, which has white stripes down the sides of the leaves. At the other end of the size scale is Agave Victoria Regini, which has small rosettes of thick fleshy leaves with a thin white line on the edges. Then if you're wanting something really bold, you can't go past Agave Americana. It's commonly known as the century plant because people say it flowers only once every hundred years and then dies, but it actually does it much more often than that. This is the ordinary one, and over here is a variety called Marginata, which has yellowish stripes down the sides of the leaves, and another one here is called Mediopicta, because it has the stripe down the middle of the leaves, not on the edges. And then finally, here's one called striata, which has striped leaves. These are certainly wonderful architectural plants for dry, sunny situations or for the smaller ones growing in containers. Mm -hmm.